Hey everyone, the GamePiece here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to go over the leveling guide for Sipanku. This is going to be the best and most efficient way of leveling in the Sipanku Island patch, so let's get right into it everyone. So to start things off, the first thing to be aware of is due to technical reasons, the leveling spots are limited to level 70 until the next level cap increase. So any shrines in the past that have had level 70s are still going to be relevant, like the Earth Shrine, the Water Shrine, and the new Fire Shrine and Digital Shrine, those will be relevant. Personally though, I do think the Earth Shrine is still the fastest way of doing this, especially now that we have teleportation. If you haven't unlocked the teleporter, definitely be sure to do that. I have a video going over how to unlock that exactly if you are interested. But once you have that unlocked, this is going to make it an immensely easier process for you. So once you have the teleporter, you can unlock these teleportation points, which will basically allow you to teleport right to any of these shrines that you have unlocked. So this is super useful if you have to go back and heal, or if you just want to go do some quick leveling without having to run through that dark cave to the earth shrine, or make that long trek to the water shrine. This way you can kind of choose whatever shrine you want to go to for whatever is going to work out best for your party composition. But like I said, I do think the earth shrine is probably the most easiest to farm, all you really have to do is get two Okamas with Water Cannon and bam, you're, you're set to go. You can raise them up to level 70 and they'll instantly one-shot everything. Another option that you could bring is Nature Koish with the Synergy Master using Water Cutting Lily. But really, these things are going to get torn down if you have any sort of TV trained or perfect Temtem. But especially Ukama, it's a really easy time to just get your hands on and raise it up to level 70, get two of them, slap a Tem on the back with a Coward's Cloak and get leveling. It's a really easy, super fast process. And I'm really happy that teleportation has been added because even in just one day, I, I've realized the quality of life that that is going to bring. It seriously is just so much nicer being able to just instantly teleport to where you need to go and not have to trek through big uh, routes of grass and use up your sense and all that kind of stuff. But like I said, I definitely think this is the best method of doing it, the Earth Shrine, and they did lower the experience needed to level as well, so it shouldn't take as long to reach the previous levels that you reached, but it still is kind of a grind to reach level 70 just fighting level 70, so be prepared. But let me know what you guys think of this new leveling process of the new teleportation. Are you for it or against it? I personally, like I said, am for it. It's been awesome to be able to just teleport instantly but let me know what you guys think and thank you guys so much for watching and have a great rest of your day